Didier Deschamps is on the verge of becoming just the second manager in history to win the World Cup more than one time. He deserves massive credit for taking this French team to the final without key players like Kante, Benzema and Paul Pogba. Since he has played a 4-2-3-1 in 5 out of the 6 games so far, let's take a look at what this formation will look like in the final versus Argentina. Deschamps' overall strategy relies on soaking up the pressure and being really compact in defense. And then he counterattacks with quick transitions through rapid players in their team like Mbappe, Griezmann, Dembele, Chouameni, Rabio, and of course Hernandez. Then he'll rely on individual brilliance from his front four like Mbappe, Giroud, Griezmann, and Dembele to create chances, right? Both goals versus Morocco, for example, came from deflections from shots that Mbappe took. The first one coming from Hernandez and the second one coming from Kolo Muani. And Griezmann and Dembele throughout the tournament have put world-class crosses on the head of Giroud and Mbappe to score goals, right? And there's absolutely nothing wrong with this strategy. The goal is to win the game, not to play well and lose, right? And this 4-2-3-1 with counter-attack is really effective from Didier Deschamps. Next, let's look at what France would look like in a counter-attacking situation. Assuming Upamecano wins the ball in this area, he sees the pitch in front of him and notices three things. There's some space down the middle centrally, there's some space on the right-hand side behind Acuna, and there's obviously some space on the left-hand side behind Depaul and Romero. Now, he has two real options. He can either play the ball to Giroud, who can hold up the play and then play in Mbappe in behind, or he plays the ball directly to Mbappe and Giroud takes up either Otamendi or Romero. Griezmann either takes up Paredes or Romero, and the entire team pushes up rapidly, right? With Dembele being on the right-hand side, Chouameni holding this area, and Rabio trying to help in uh, on the left-hand side. From there, we'll see Romero and Depaul try to double up on Mbappe, which means there's more space for Rabio and Hernandez to do stuff, even if Molina tries to get back in defense. And Fernandez will most likely be on Chouameni or try to help out Otamendi with Giroud, with Alvarez being on Chouameni and McAllister trying to help out Acuna with Dembele. If we pause and look at this position here, we have four French players against four Argentinian players, right? And even if we have, uh, say, Enzo Fernandez helping with one of these three players, you're still going to need to have two Argentinian players on Mbappe, which means at best it's a one-for-one -for, -one, uh, for Griezmann, Rabio, and Hernandez. So Hernandez could overlap past Mbappe, Mbappe could move into these areas, pass the ball to Griezmann, Griezmann can find Giroud, or he can make uh, a forward run himself and Rabiot can, can make the runs as needed, right? Or link up the play as needed. So the counterattack for, for France is absolutely deadly. And this is how they've been so successful this tournament. So massive credit goes out to Deschamps, like I said at the start of the video. Just as we saw this counterattack down the left-hand side for France, this can also happen down the right-hand side, right? With this space in behind, depending on where the Argentinian players are positioned and depending on where the French players are, right? There's every chance that Dembele can be further forward than Mbappe already, and Upamecano sees a better ball out to him, or he plays it to Giroud, and Giroud plays it to Dembele, right? Either way, this counter-attacking formation and this tactical setup from Deschamps is absolutely deadly, and Argentina has something to worry about, right? Like, I've called for a 2-1 win for Argentina, but this game can easily go the other way. Uh, there's not a lot between these two teams and it could even be a blowout in either direction, right? Like if Argentina gets one or two goals early, uh, they get to uh, score a lot more goals because France all of a sudden has to have a lot of the possession and try to score, right? And equally, France can also get a, a early goal or two, which they have done in the last two games, and just sit deep and get even more goals because Argentina starts to overload and attack a lot. So this is going to be a very tight game that depends on mental fortitude, on defensive shape, on discipline, right? Like a red card or a penalty can also make a big difference. So let's see what happens. France has every chance to win this World Cup, man. And for you French fans, I'll say allez les bleus because... You know, what a story it'll be if Deschamps wins two back-to-back -back World Cups and Mbappe wins his first two World Cups as well. Like, crazy storylines for you guys, right? So I'll be massively happy for either team, you know, regardless of the result. Let's see what happens. What do you guys think? Get in the comments, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.